everybody. Muy buenos días, pero muy buenos días. Eh, espero que todos estén, pero super, super, super bien. I hope everybody's doing super well. Um, we're going to continue today talking about something I had already, uh, a, a, a previous lesson, a lesson I did before, um, and that's about sequence. Esa palabra, no hay que tenerle miedo. You don't have to be afraid of that word because uh, you know now what it means. Sequence. Sequence is nothing more than saying uh, we do something, we do things in order. And you're telling someone who's reading something you are writing uh, what order, okay, you do the things in. All right? So, um, I went over this last time, but we'll look at it another time. Um, well, first thing you're going to do when you're writing really well, okay, and this is what you want to be doing, writing really well, uh, you want to put an introduction. Introduction is what? It allows your lector, the reader, to know to understand what he or she is going to be reading about, what you are going to be telling him or her about. That is your introduction. Then, if now, this, sometimes you're going to see these words, these sequence words. Um, not always do you have to use them, though, okay? Um, so, first, next, then, Finally, okay. So those are those are called sequence words. So if you see sequence, you're not. No, no hay por qué tenerle miedo. You don't have to be afraid of of that because you say, I know what that means, and I know what to do, okay, to put things in sequence. Uh, and at the end, okay, you're going to have an introduction that's telling the reader what you're talking about. At the end, you're going to have a conclusion, uh, a conclusion uh, to uh, resumir, to uh, tell, to, to go back over, to summarize what you have written in this part of what you have written, okay? We're going to try and write paragraphs. Okay, and paragraph is what? Uh, it's usually a group of, of three, at least three sentences about a, uh, the same, similar, same thing. Okay, so you want, you want that for a paragraph. When you have a paragraph, also you want to make the first word in the first sentence of that paragraph a little bit more to the right. That is called indenting. All right. Okay, so what would, what would I like you to do for me today? Okay, this is going to be a good practice, and I think you probably have done it with Miss Amy, okay? Um, but uh, in order to keep practicing, um, I want you to think about things that you do during different seasons, okay? Different Diferentes estaciones. ¿Qué haces durante las estaciones? Las eh, uh, diferentes estaciones. Um, and let's let's look at this first. This is remember the hamburger writing. Hamburger writing. Uh, you're going to have a bun on the top and a bun on the bottom. That's why it's called hamburger writing. Okay. To all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese. Uh, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Don't know if you've heard that before, but that's... Um, so, we're... I made this look like... I tried to make it look like a bun. Un, un, un pan de, de, de sesamo de, de ajonjoli. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but this is my top bun. And I'm going to say, we're talking about seasons. Uh, we're going to put this in order. I like to do different things in different seasons. And then you can give a another detail, another couple of details if you wish um, there. Let me tell you about what I like to do. You're getting your reader interested. Uh, you're telling your reader what you're writing about. You're getting your reader interested in reading what you have written. Okay? Me entiende? Uh, Hay que interesarse, que, 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 
el lector esté interesado, se interese en lo que han escrito, ¿okay? que les motive a leer. Um, ok, so, we are in, and you can put these in different order. Uh, you put them in order, this is sequence, remember, putting things in order. So, uh, we are, what season are we in right now? And think about the weather, what weather it is, and something you like to do in different kinds of weather. So we're in spring. I like to play outside in the spring. Uh, a mí me gusta correr. A mí me gusta, I like to, I like to run in the spring. I like to run all the time. Uh, but Spring, what do you like? What's one thing you like to do okay, in the spring? So, um, yeah, you can use this uh, format. Oh, here it is. I like to blank what you like to do, your activity, in the whatever season, okay? Next season, what comes after the what, what, uh, so in the spring, um, it's sunny, it's warmer. Think about the weather. And you can include that in your details here. Okay? Miss Amy says, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. And that's what I want you to do as well. Uh, same thing, summer. What is the weather like in the summer? Oh, it is, it, is it sofocante de calor, por general? Okay, it's, it's normally hot. Okay, what do you like to do in the summer? I like to swim, and I like to run, in the summer as well. Hace sol, hace mucho sol, hace calor, okay? It's hot, it's sunny, okay? So, what do you like to do in the summer? So, first, it's following the same order, okay? You don't necessarily need to put these words here, the sequence words, but you're following the sequence, right? You're putting it in order. Uh, Okay, so first in the spring, next in the summer, uh, I like to. Um, then when the fall comes, okay, and the word for fall is autumn, el otoño. Um, what te, ¿Qué te gusta hacer durante el otoño? Well, I like to play in the leaves in autumn, all right? So um, write about what you like to do then. Uh, and in the autumn, it's say fresco. It's cool. Okay, write about the weather too. That's another detail in all of these that you can write. All of these paragraphs. Uh, and then finally, um, the winter. What's the weather like in the winter? Uh, nieva. Okay, cae much, um, por lo general, uh, most of the time. Not this winter, but anyway. Most, uh, a lot of winters, it's hace frío, sin embargo, uh, it's cold. So, what do you like to do in the winter? I like to play in the snow. A mí me gusta ser un hombre de nieve. I like to make a snowman, maybe, if there's snow. Okay, so, so you've got your season, spring, summer, fall, or autumn, and winter. And you've got them in order, all right? You got an introduction. Now, we're to the end. Uh, you want to conclude. You've got a conclusion. Okay? And this is your bottom bun for your hamburger riding, like we talked about earlier. I like to do different activities in different seasons um, because the weather is different. Okay? And you can add some. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more details about those. Um, and what do, you, what do you like to do? And you can just do a little summary of what you wrote up here. doesn't have to be really long. Just summarize it to your reader. And um, um, now, oh, invite your reader. Then tell me more about what you like to do in the different seasons. That would be a really good way to conclude your writing about activities in the seasons. Okay? All right. So, make sure you make sure you use complete sentences, all right? 
and you include as many details as possible. Okay, and this is good for not only I'm an I'm an ELL teacher, uh, but this is good for everybody when you're writing. Okay. This is what all the readers want to see. They want to see details, complete sentences. They want to see things in order, okay? So, make sure you have done it in that way. And, uh, okay, have a wonderful day, and I hope this... Oh, yeah, okay. So, forgot to mention, practice, practice, practice. Practice in speaking, okay? That's... Practice, uh, practice in la escritura, writing, okay? Make sure you're practicing both of those skills. Um, and watch TV and watch TV in English, okay? Es lo mismo que hago yo en español. I watch TV in Spanish. That helps me out a lot, okay? So, practice, practice, practice above all. All right, so, uh, and I think that's all for today. Uh, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day and practice with this. Try, do, try doing, try doing, um, try talking about what you do in the different seasons, what the weather is like, and some other details. And put it in order, write an introduction and a conclusion. Okay, I think that's all. Bye.